So Benjamin in lane six. Happy inside him, the Frenchman's already seeing a gap appear, and Benjamin rising first to the first barrier, taken out meters out of the two men outside of him, Bassett and Barr. And look at Benjamin, smooth as ever. Hapiel now getting into his stride, and he's taken Russell with him, CJ Allen not too far away either. Through the first 200, it's still right, Benjamin, as we expected. I think it's gonna be all about him and the clock here, if he maintains this. Hurdling beautifully. Hapiel looks really rough and struggling. CJ Allen's the one who's gonna put Benjamin under a little bit of pressure in the home straight, and Allen is finishing quickly. Benjamin away that he's there, but just attacks that last barrier, but look at CJ Allen, just falters a little bit off the last one. It's gonna be Benjamin who wins it, 47-78. This time at the third time of asking, we're away. And Holloway straight into his running, such a brilliant technician. All the work done from the waist down. Uh, Devon Allen under pressure from uh, Parchment. Broadbell going well, Broadbell putting... Oh, well, Broadwell gets it on the line. What a finish from Broadbell, the Commonwealth Games champion. Who steady as she goes through 70 meters. And in the end, in the last 10 meters, just came up on the shoulder of the double world champion. And it's the Jamaican who's picked the pocket of Grant Holloway. A rare defeat for the American. It's a meeting record. He's gone under the 13-12 of David Oliver set in 2016. But that is something of a shock. Well, it certainly is after the first 50 and that brilliant start from Grant Holloway. I mean, he was he drove to that first barrier so hard. It was half a metre up at the first barrier and a metre up at halfway. And then he just seemed to run out of steam. Broadbell came back at him. The uh, Commonwealth champion catches him there about five metres out. Uh, he stays a metre ahead of Parchment and Allen does, uh, Broad, but does Holloway. But what a shock there. Broadbell, brilliant running. And that is a season's best, as you said quite rightly. Chris. Roberts gets out really well. Holloway not too far behind him. Crittenden started quickly over in lane two as well. And Joseph trying to get back into this, but it's all about Grant Holloway. Can he finish this one off? Holloway is going to take it. 12.98. Yes, he gets under 13 seconds. High steps his way around that bottom bend. That's much, much better. There was a brilliant finish from the young Frenchman behind him. Wait to see what time he's been given. That could be very quick for him, but that's the quickest you, in the world. I love you, buddy! <laughs> well, we love that performance. It's that consistency under 13 seconds. It's always 13.01, 13.03, 13.04. But look at this, see how much it means to him. You know, wh what? Where's a few hundred seconds when you need them? Well, he found them tonight. The roar gets them underway, and already Varholm has eaten into Laulu in the first 50 metres. Looking smooth down the back straight into his running left leg lead. CJ Allen already with work to do, and this is vintage Varholm. Can he keep it going? The stride pattern looks pretty good so far. Coming into the top bend. He's well away. Real aggression lights out. Has he got plenty in reserve? CJ Allen is leading the charge up here as well. Rossa, they're all flailing in the wake. A little bit of a check of the stride. And now, off the last barrier. Let's keep an eye on the clock. Is this special from Varholm? Goodness me, it is! 46-52, Karsten Varholm. The fourth fastest time in history. He's beaten even the world record that he set here two years ago. And in terms of announcing your return on the circuit, that is some statement. It's a Diamond League record as well. He just simply blew them apart. Now, McMaster's gone off pretty quickly. He's matching a Varholm left a picture there, stride for stride. Varholm, though, with his head up, barrel chested, punching away down the back straight, looking strong. 150 done. Also going well as Hapio in the headband. 
Third from left, but Vaughan now beginning to get some daylight. Great aggressive running from Vaillant in lane four, and the Frenchman looking fabulous too, but Vaillant is away, running blind. He first lane seven, somebody to chase. Here he is in the zone. Tunnel vision for the Norwegian, as Hapio really stutters at that one there in the headband. But Vaholm now down the home straight has a big lead. Great running from Maggie in lane three. Watch Vaholm, it's getting faster, it's getting bigger. The gap between him and the rest dips at the line. And his time comes up as 47.57. He wins by, well, almost a second and a half from Kyron McMaster, Chris. We have liftoff, and as always, Varholm going out very aggressively indeed. He's got a target, Schmidt, and he's already eaten him down inside 100 metres. This is really, really aggressive, as always, from Carsten Varholm. Dos Santos, of course, is in pursuit. CJ Allen as well has got a little bit of work to do, but Varholm, who's running blind now, effectively in lane eight, charging round the crowd of the bend with less than 200 to go, coming into the eighth barrier. Looking out for potentially a little stutter into the 10th. It's something he's been working on. Penultimate barrier. Varholm stretching a little bit. Now he's just got one to go. Dos Santos is grimacing. CJ Allen's got a target, but Varholm is away. He's stretching away. Let's keep an eye on the clock. 46-52. Well, it's a new meeting record. Unbelievable. What consistency. As an equal world lead from Carsten Varholm. We have liftoff, and as always, Varholm going out very aggressively indeed. He's got a target, Schmidt, and he's already eaten him down inside 100 metres. This is really, really aggressive, as always, from Carsten Varholm. Dos Santos, of course, is in pursuit. CJ Allen as well has got a little bit of work to do, but Varholm, who's running blind now, effectively in lane eight, charging round the crowd of the bend with less than 200 to go, coming into the eighth barrier. Looking out for potentially a little stutter into the 10th. It's something he's been working on. Penultimate barrier. Varholm stretching a little bit. Now he's just got one to go. Dos Santos is grimacing. CJ Allen's got a target, but Varholm is away. He's stretching away. Let's keep an eye on the clock. 46-52. Well, it's a new meeting record. Unbelievable. What consistency. As an equal world lead from Carsten Varholm. Good quick start from Parchment, but Holloway has got the jump on him at the moment, going really well as Uzumiya in the uh, in the blue. Parchment's got a lot of ground to make up. He's got this one one grant Holloway if he can hold on to this one, and he's quick off the of the final hurdle. So is Uzumiya, 13.02, plus 1.3. That couldn't be much better, much sweeter for Grant Holloway. It's adjusted to 13.01, and that was a resounding victory over Hansel Parchment, but maybe there's somebody else he needs to look out for because I suspect that Izumiya there has run a personal best or something very, very close to it in second place. He was breathing down the neck. No, 13.06 for Izumiya. His best is 13.04 from uh, some four or five weeks ago. But nonetheless, Grant Holloway. Obaholm, second to top there up in lane seven, always attacks very aggressively through the first 150, never really lets up actually, although inside him, Kyron McMaster, wow, man for the British Virgin Islands, has had the uh, audacity to move up onto the shoulder of Varholm, who will be strong over the second half, he always is, but uh, this is unfamiliar territory perhaps for the Norwegian. In the white there, bottom of picture, McMaster right up alongside him and ahead of him, in fact, at the moment, Dos Santos going well inside them in 5-2. But Varholm surely can be stronger down the home straight, or can he? But Master has committed down the first 300 metres, but now down the home straight, it is down to the run and off the final barrier. Varholm unbeaten this year in major finals, but he's beaten here tonight in Zurich. Well, I think post-party fatigue can probably be explaining that one. Great start from Holloway in lane six. Daniel Roberts got a good start from the blue, fourth from right. But Holloway going away at the moment. The Parchment and the yellows got some work to do. Holloway holding his form. Here comes Parchment. Parchment coming through to take it. Parchment takes it there. And I think Roberts takes second place. And actually, Holloway shunted back to third. And the winning time, 12.96. Wow.
What a brilliant, brilliant race. I thought Holloway had it sewn up, led out of the blocks, led to hurdle six, and then irresistibly, Parchment, barrier after barrier through the second half, forging back to second place, back to the front, forging a lead that he was uh, hold on to and eventually winning pretty comfortably, frankly. That was a clash of the titans. And uh, Parchment there getting a little bit of revenge. The Olympic champion over the world champion for events last week in Hungary.